brains. Brains. Nom, 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 nom. For years, I always heard about Netflix. I always heard about it as sort of streaming, sort of streaming movie service or, or films on demand service. And the closest thing that I had uh, to that here was on demand, which uh, I get through a, a Virgin uh, set top box. But you have to pay for each film that you order. And I've always heard about Netflix. Always wondered what it would be like. And it was released or launched in Britain recently so I decided that I would check it out because I have I've got a Wii and you can put Netflix on that so I can watch it on my telly and also can watch it on my laptop or on my computer um, and you can stream it to a bunch of other devices um, I don't have an HD television I've got I'll show you at some point I've got a huge uh, projector which was well, a projection screen, it's not really a, a television, it's it's totally retro, uh, but it's like a cinema, it's not the size of a cinema screen, but it's like a cinema screen, and that it's uh, sort of proper projection, but it's standard def, which is the, the only sad thing about it. Um, and I got that TV for free, I got it for free from my brother, um, because the work he was at, they were throwing them out, and I got one. It's amazing. Anyway, um, so I don't mind like streaming it through the week, because the week can only stream... In standard definition so I got uh, Netflix the other night and I just wanted to give my impressions on it for anybody else especially in the UK that is thinking about it and I think it's been rolled out to the rest of Europe as well here's the thing there's this sort of war of words going on between Netflix which has just launched and love film now love film is a service run by Amazon and what love film does is it's a mail order service where you can you pay a monthly subscription and you can possess two dvds it sounds like you actually possess them you know not like that uh, you can order two dvds at a time um and then once you, you you mail them back to them and you get as many many dvds as you want basically um and they've also started doing a, a streaming on demand type service so they are sort of a, conflicting with Netflix at the moment there's a lot of argument as to which one's better I can't say because I haven't tried the love film service um, all I can talk about is Netflix but this does that I just wanted to check it out because they were doing like a free a month's free trial which I'm still on and uh, I just wanted to check it out because I was free so at the end of the day we like free stuff and what you do is you go on to Netflix, once you've, once you've signed up to it, you need to put in like your credit card detail or whatever, details. And you go on, go on Netflix and you get presented with different genres of films and stuff like that. I know people that are in America that have Netflix all the time will be looking at me going, why are you describing this what Netflix is? Everyone knows what it is. But just for those who do not. And you get like the... Uh, the front covers of the DVDs or the posters for the films and a description of what the film is and sort of put into all the different genres and I'm doing too many hand movements here so I'll stop doing that and uh, that's basically what Netflix is and you can rate the films you can also see if you use it through Facebook you can also see what your friends on Facebook like the films that they like and stuff like that um, recommendations and, and things like that so first of all on the service itself fantastic brilliant I've not had one problem with it the streaming is amazing the picture quality is really good I've heard there's problems with the love film streaming service that the picture quality is not the best the picture quality here fantastic um, not had one single glitch with it I've watched so much so many films on it and there's also like a whole bunch of television shows and you get entire box sets so you just like watch you know entire uh, seasons of, of, of different TV shows great but the problem is the content in the UK is sadly lacking if you look at what they have in America they have this huge abundance of titles of films of television shows on their service I've, I've read somewhere that it was like something stupid like a hundred thousand television episodes and, and movies that you can use on the uh, streaming service 
over here you've got 10,000, which sounds like a lot, but it's not really when it comes down to films because you think about it doesn't take that many television shows to like get into like the hundreds, you know. So the TV shows really take up an awful lot, which is fine if you love TV. But if if you're a horror fan specifically, there are only 35 horror films on the service at the moment, and some of them really just aren't worth my mind checking out. But there are some great horror films on there. There, there really are some fantastic horror films in there. But the service is very, it, it is lacking. But you're paying five ninety nine a month for it. That's all you're paying for it. You can watch as many things as you want on it. You're not paying for uh, like each film that you watch. When I use on demand, every time it's like three ninety nine for one film. Okay, the films are much more up to date. They've sometimes they've been released at the same time they're on cinema or. Uh, they t before they've come out on DVD or at the same time they've come out on DVD but still uh, Netflix is obviously much much better value for money and I think that they will obviously be adding content I think the reason the content isn't there yet is because there's some licensing issues in Britain they probably have to like I heard somewhere that they, they spent 1.2 billion dollars in America to have all of the licensing that they have for all of the the uh, television shows and films, so they've yet to do that in the United Kingdom. But they have just struck a lot of deals with most of the major television um, channels in in Britain and uh, well, with a lot of studios and stuff like that. So I think there's a lot more content coming. What's a little bit worrying is that I've heard that some of the content has also been taken down. So I don't know why that would be. But overall despite the lack of content i've watched some fantastic films on it if you are completely into contemporary films if that's what you're completely into then it's probably not for you you know um, but if you're a fan of film if you're a fan of cinema of like all years then it is definitely worth it because you just get so many different um movies on there and you do get some you know contemporary films on there and i'm sure a lot more will be coming and with regards to television, the television section is excellent, there's all sorts of uh, 24, Peep Show, loads of South Park episodes, you know, there's a lot of content on there. If you've got kids, you know, I don't have kids, but I've, I've got a nephew who's two and a half and um, crazy, uh, he loves Thomas the Tank Engine, he does, and Netflix has 308 episodes of it, so <laughs> if you've got kids, they, and they even have a section where you can you can sort it, uh, I keep doing this because of the Wemo on the Wii and it's like that's what I'm used to doing it with, but you can uh, set your Netflix up so that it only does the child section and I have to say I was pretty impressed with the selection they have, they have a lot of kid friendly and family uh, friendly films and a whole bunch of like uh, TV episodes of things and stuff like that and there's some really good, like I'm a total retro head Obviously, if I get a rear projection television and a Ghostbusters uh, poster in the background, I was going to call that a T-shirt. That's not a T-shirt. That's a poster. Uh, but I'm a total retro head, so there were a lot of like films on this that f from my childhood, like The Explorers. Just love that film. It's really underrated. There are a lot of really cheesy uh, B movies from the 1980s as well, which are always worth watching, like uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space and stuff like that. A lot of classic films like In the Heat of the Night that I watched recently. Wonderful film. Robocop, stuff like that. Um, and with regards to TV shows, there's, there are even TV shows from my childhood. Like, uh, me and my girlfriend, we sat and we watched Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Just because my girlfriend's a little bit younger than me, so some of her references to like television shows, she's like five years younger than me, so there's like there is that almost generational gap between us, uh, where she'll see something she'll just say, uh, before my time, you know, but, like, stuff like Inspector Gadget, like, we both went, you remember this, when we both watched it as kids, so we watched an episode of it, and uh, she put the Power Rangers on, which I was too old, I think, Power Rangers debuted in, like, 1993, so I would be like, well, I was old, I was 12, that's what age I was, you can work out my age now, um, and uh, she sat and watched it. The only thing I would say, if you do use it through Facebook, it posts the films in 
things that you watch on your Facebook page. You can click don't share as you start watching it. I forgot to do that when we were watching Power Rangers and then my Facebook page, I think a lot of people were going, why is Michael watching the Power Rangers? People with kids would be fine, they'd be like that, well it must be for the kids, but people are like, Michael doesn't have children, why is he watching Power Rangers? So that's my, my review, my, my conclusion of Netflix on the UK service anyway, would be that I would get in on it now because I think the service will explode not literally like the Death Star, it will uh, become far more popular and when it does the service is going to expand and probably the subscription fees are going to go up and I'm hoping that the people like myself who have got in there at the beginning will be still jamming with the 5 99 just be like yeah but it's just such a great thing it's so handy to have and I have to and I will admit here I watch a lot of films online um, and uh, whether you agree with that I agree with that or not but I do watch a lot of films online and it gets pretty annoying doing that, if you know what I mean. And I'm quite happy to pay five ninety nine to watch a lot of stuff happily on my TV. What do you guys think anyway? Do you have Netflix in the US? What what's your experiences with it? And have you tried the, the UK service? And like I say, thirty day trial, you can cancel it at any point. It's not one of these things that you get stuck in or anything like that cancel at any point after that it's 5 a month and you pay it per month so if you want to stop using it you know you pay for it for one month and you want to stop using it just stop using it and that's uh, that's it so can't say fair on that 5 for 10,000 titles so far and hopefully going up to the tens of thousands of titles and a better um, range of content I think it's pretty awesome and that's what I think about it. So what do you think? Let me know. As always, check out the forums below. And you have a very nice day. <laughs> I've never ended a video like that in my life. It's Saturday night, so I don't know why I'm saying have a very nice day. Have a nice Sunday, and I hope you're having a good Saturday night. Probably better than mine, because I'm sitting here recording videos. But that's what I like doing. a Wii and you can put Netflix on that so I can watch it on my telly and also can watch it on my laptop or on my computer um, and you can stream it to a bunch of other devices um, I don't have an HD television I've got I'll show you at some point I've got a huge uh, projector which was a pretty one it's amazing anyway um, so I don't mind like streaming it through the Wii because the Wii can only stream in standard definition so I got uh, Netflix the other night and I just wanted to give my impressions on it for anybody else, especially in the UK that uh, is thinking about it. And I think it's been rolled. Brains. Brains. Nom, 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 nom. For years, I always heard about Netflix. I always heard about it as sort of streaming, sort of streaming movie service. Or, or films on demand service and the closest thing that I had uh, to that here was on demand which uh, I get through a, a virgin uh, set top box but you have to pay for each film that you order and I've always heard about Netflix always wondered what it would be like and it was released or launched in Britain recently so I decided that I would check it out because I have I've got a projection screen, it's not really a, a television, it's it's totally retro, uh, but it's like a cinema, it's not the size of a cinema screen, but it's like a cinema screen, and that it's uh, sort of proper projection, but it's standard def, which is the, the only sad thing about it, um, and I got that TV for free, I got it for free from my brother, um, because the work he was at, they were throwing them out, and I got 